Hello everybody, welcome back to the red one. This is my match reaction on Manchester United's thrilling and fatic victory over Southampton, which finished 9-0 with a whole host of goal scorers. And there's a lot to digest. So let's try and digest it by half. And first half, first minute, Southampton player comes in with a ridiculous challenge on Scott McTominay. And takes him out and gets himself sent off which pretty much sets it up then for us um we pretty much dominated from then but the challenge was bad and it was in the first minute and it was a bad challenge but it's, it's a young it's a young kid trying to impress his manager and i don't think there was anything malicious in it it was just i think maybe just over eager and trying to play a bit too much and it just ended up backfiring on the kid um but that really did set us up to get this score up to 9-0 with the help of some of the first half performances from some of the players, mainly Luke Shaw. His first half performance was exceptional. He, were, he had a main involvement, two assists, but a main involvement in three out of the four goals, which is just great from a left-back situation from a player who has come from strength to strength over the last couple of months. I think this is one of the best seasons that he's having in a Manchester United shirt. So, well played to Luke Shaw. Absolutely brilliant first half from him. Um, On to the Cavani penalty appeal as well, which is a bit controversial. Um, A lot of people have had mixed opinions about this penalty. I personally, when I first saw it, I thought, that's a penalty. Um, And I thought that he's on the line. So it is a penalty if he's on the line, but he got his ankle first, which was slightly out, like his toes was on the line, and he got his ankle first, which was slightly outside. So I do, in the end, think that VAR came to the right decision with the Cavani penalty free kick mishap. Um, but then, yeah, pretty much, we're coming, we're coming to the end of the second half in Manchester United, 4-0, and... Um, that allowed Oli then to bring some players on who were short of confidence, short of minutes, like Martial, short of confidence, Van der Beek. So it really worked out well in terms of that for resting them because we've got Everton at the weekend as well and the games are coming up thick and fast in February. So I was a bit thrown off by Fred going into a bit of a left-back position when we had Tellers who... Doesn't get too many minutes. Got Brandon Williams on the bench as well. So I was a bit thrown off by there. Um, maybe it was to get Bruno playing, Van der Beek playing all together and see what that was like. But I, me personally, I'd arrested Bruno. I know he went on and scored and assisted two goals. But the game was already done at halftime. 4-0 and Bruno's vital to Manchester United. And maybe I'll just give Van der Beek a go in, uh, in that more forward position. But I'm not complaining. 9-0. We smashed Southampton. They never had a chance from that very first minute. So, on to the second half. It got a bit risky with this Fred decision, like I was just saying. Southampton had a goal disallowed coming in from Fred's left. And got past Fred. Fred switched off. And it actually went in and saved by VAR for being a slight fraction offside. Like that was hard to call as well. So, but if VAR, if it's off, he's off. Doesn't matter if it's by a toenail or an arm or a mile. If he's off, he's off. So, but Fred got lucky. But listen, the game was over. So even if it had gone in, I don't think Southampton would have would have mounted a, a great comeback. Um, especially as Martial got taken down in the box as well um, by Bednarek who also scored an own goal in the first half. He got sent off for taking Martial down, which again is another controversial decision as there wasn't a great, there was contact, but there wasn't a great amount of contact, but penalty got given our way and Bruno dispatches it like he always does. And he got himself sent off and 
he had a bad game, really did the overall with no goal, sent off and give away a penalty. <laughs> That's a pretty bad game for me, but pretty much from there, then it was crawling, always crawling up to getting more goals for Manchester United. But overall, it's a great performance from Manchester United, a great battering for Southampton, and that is twice now that they've been beaten by nine goals under their manager. It's a bit of a, a bit of a worrying start and that's the I think that's like the first time in like twenty odd years that we have won by nine goals. So another record broken by Oli there and live a nine nil. I'm happy about the nine nil. It's great. And la let me just tell you now who my man of the match is. I'm gonna put this just below here right now. Boom. Luke Shaw is my man of the match. And you're probably all going to say, oh, he got took off at half time. But his first half performance was the reason, in my eyes, why we got the nine. He he moved everything forward. He was the one with, like I said, three goal involvements, got it to 4 0, allowed Oli to make these rests of players and allowed us not to have to sit back and play cautious football. Like we, we'd never stop playing. Like, as you can see from the possession stats there, 75. 25 where it was always going for them goals and that all started with Luke Shaw and his performance and not just today as well like he's been probably one of the most like best improved players since the start of this season so that mine is Luke Shaw there please let me know who your man of the match is below um so after this game I think now we've got Everton at the weekend and I think we can move into Everton now and really think about smashing them as well let's get another nine now what's stopping us we can play like that every game is that it's a cautious nil nils that we keep getting against the so-called top six well maybe not nine nil it's not every game's gonna get a man sent off in the first minute but we could definitely go into that game with confidence and we're at old trafford and to keep that title race going and keeping afloat basically like I, we didn't expect to be well i didn't expect us to be where we are now and I'm sure many other Manchester United fans probably didn't and other fans probably didn't expect us to be where we are and we're still in touching distance we've got to keep winning and hope City starts slipping up a bit so that is my match review please let me know what you think of the game below like I said you're man of the match and let's just uh, let's start some debates going there's not really much to debate though 9 nil. that is the score so that is it from me. I'll catch you all in the Everton preview. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you soon.